Hey guys, it's Jody from A Loop and a Hook, and today I wanted to do a day in the life. Um, so last night did not go too well with Caitlin. She was up most of the night um, screaming and just very unhappy. Um, and I don't know exactly why if she was too hot, too cold, um, because it's been it's been getting warmer here. So, I don't know if she's just not adjusted to the temperature or what, but last night was not a good night. Um, I didn't get much sleep. Caitlin really didn't get a lot of sleep either, so I just put her down for a nap. It's like 9.30ish. Um, I think I'm going to go try to take a nap because I'm not doing well this morning with having not very much sleep. So, we'll see if I can sleep. Um, and if I do, that's going to be really, really nice because I could definitely use it today. Oh, somebody didn't get a very good nap. So she's grumpy now. Yeah. Oh, is it that hard? You didn't sleep very long. Yeah. You like your fingers, don't you? So, I didn't get a nap either, but such is life. At least, you know, she got a little bit of a nap. Maybe like half hour, 45 minutes, if that. Definitely not enough, but could definitely be a lot worse. She could have not slept at all, so. Now you're chill. Did you got your fingers in your got me holding you. I just went out to get the mail, and I had ordered something two days ago three days ago so I'm hoping this works there's screws um, for a crib that I just got so hoping that they work um, so I can put the crib together for Caitlin uh, if not well we're gonna have to order more <laughs> and see if I can finally get some that work but it said it worked with most cribs so I'm hoping it works with this one. So it's been a little while um, since I last filmed. Uh, I put Caitlin on me in the baby carrier and I walked down to mom and dad's house to, you know, try to get her calmed down because she was really antsy and fussy. It kind of worked, um, but she's definitely really tired. So I fed her and I put her in bed and she's sleeping now, which is a good thing. So I think I'm gonna work on probably cleaning, maybe. I should sleep but I'm like not tired at this point and I feel like sleeping at almost noon is kind of you know not necessarily the greatest idea um Colin's gonna be gone all night tonight um he's riding at the emergency squad um from six tonight to six in the morning so I'll be home by myself so I can go to bed early if I want to go to bed early so I probably will just do that um and just hope that Caitlin uh, somehow manages to sleep most of the night, if not all the night, but we'll see. Um, I hope she gets a pretty good nap. She's been sleeping for f 20 minutes or so, so hope she gets a pretty solid, decent nap, um, so she can wake up and be happy. So I got, think I'm just going to work on cleaning the kitchen, um, that's kind of been neglected in the past couple of days as I've, uh, haven't been had, having much sleep with Caitlin, so I think I'm going to work on that, try to get that clean so I can also get some food made um, for me, and then so I have dinner ready when Colin gets home from work um, before he leaves for the squad. So it's like 12.30 now. Um, Caitlin is up, as you can hear, she's fussy. Um, I fed her, so I'm going to try to see if I can get her settled down and... We'll see what happens from there. I did get the stove clean, so that's always a bonus. But I need to go take care of her. It's been a little while since I last updated you guys. I did just film a video on how to clarify baking grease. Um, I think that will end up getting posted before this video. We'll see. But if it is posted, I'll link that in the description below in case you didn't see that video. Um, super, super easy to do. Um, I like it because it doesn't leave any you know scraps in the baking grease that could go bad um turn the grease rancid it also works really well for if you don't want you know crunchy bits um and whatever you're cooking 
So super, super easy. Just filmed a video on that. Uh, got most of the kitchen cleaned up, which is nice. Most of the dishes are done. Not all of them, but most of them are. Um, I got the stove cleaned up. Uh, I was working on putting together um, Caitlin's new crib, but the screws that I ordered off of Amazon to um, use for the crib don't work. So I'm going to have to run to a hardware store and see if I can find some that match. Um, and that will fit so I can get that out of the living room and kitchen area um, and into our bedroom. But we're getting stuff done slowly but surely. Caitlin is finally sleeping. She's been sleeping for about an 45 minutes, an hour. Hoping she can stay sleeping because she really needs, you know, a good solid nap today. Um, because she has not slept well in the past, you know think it's like 14 16 hours so she really needs a good nap so I was in a little bit of a quandary about what to do for dinner um I haven't gone shopping in a while I don't remember the last time I went but refrigerator is pretty empty so I've been mostly using things out of my freezer now part of that is because I haven't been very good about using things out of the freezer in the past 16 or so months since I've lived here with Colin since I got married um things will go in the freezer and that's kind of where they sit so I've been trying to get better at going through and using things right out of the freezer um it saves money now um for us not having to go and buy as much food right now but it also is helpful just so I know what's in the freezer and instead of being it so packed full I kind of can see what I have what I need to get um things like that but I was going through the freezer and I found one last freezer meal for honey soy chicken um I know that's one of Colin and my favorite freezer meals that I have made so I'm going to pull that all out, let it thaw, um, so he can have that for dinner before he heads off to the squad tonight. Um, but yeah, definitely nice having freezer meals on hand, um, cause I'm out now. I think I'm going to have to plan a day sometime in the next couple of weeks when there's decent sales and, you know, prep some more, um, just so I can have some in the freezer for days like today where I just don't know what to make and I need to have food ready um, for Colin before he's off and running somewhere else. So definitely gonna have to plan on doing that. Caitlin is up again. She only slept for maybe an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go play a game of cards with mom and grandma and grandpa and our neighbor and hopefully she'll make it. Don't have too high hopes, but we'll see how long that lasts. And she can stay happy for it. So I just got back from playing the game of cards. Um, and I'm going to start working on dinner next. I'm going to do rice with it. Um, and I'm going to throw the chicken in the oven. Um, and I think that should be enough for dinner. I might see if I have a vegetable in the freezer. But I'm not sure if I do. I might have run out. So we'll see. Um, Colin should be home in a little while. It's like 5 o'clock. He should be home soon because he has to be down to the squad by six so we'll see when he actually ends up getting home um and when he gets back out again so won't see him long today but such is life when you know you're working and everything so yep i'll see you later so i have the instant pot going with my rice in it and then in the oven i have everything else going um, the chicken, so hopefully those will finish right around the same time so I can get Colin his dinner in time. So I got some cookies made, we ate dinner, and then I got the rice done. So rice is all done. Um, I made extra for dinner tomorrow, so yep, and I have one more tray of cookies in the oven. So currently getting some things done. So I finished the cookies and these ones got a little bit more crispy than I normally like my cookies to get. Um, I was feeding Caitlin and <laughs> forgot they were in the oven. So they did, thankfully they didn't like burn burn, but they definitely are, you know, a little bit more crispy than I like them. 
I am a gooey cookie lover. I like the gooey centers, you know, very soft cookies. Um, I will eat hard cookies, but the soft ones I like better. Um, but hard cookies are always good in milk. They taste really good when you dip them in milk. So, I'm not going to complain. I have one tray of gooey ones and one tray of a little bit more crispy ones. So, it all works out. But in a minute, I have to. I'm gonna pack Colin's breakfast and lunch for tomorrow for work. Um, his lunch is just gonna be the leftovers from dinner tonight. Um, just because that makes my life easier. The leftovers don't go bad and just sit in the fridge for you know weeks before I, someone ends up throwing them out. Um, so yes, he gets leftovers for lunch and then I don't know what I'm going to do for his breakfast yet. Um, but one thing, I'll show you this in just a second, but one thing I wanted to show you was the water bottle we just got for him. Um, it's really big, it's really cool, um, and he loves it. So one thing I bought for Marshall's a couple of weeks ago when I went there was this one jar. Um, it's meant to be storage, but I love it as my cookie jar. Um, keeps them all, you know, safe. Well, safe. <laughs> um, fresh, so they don't really go stale as fast. Plus, the lid or the jar has like an airtight seal on them. So, works really well. It looks pretty. Um, it sits on my table. So, I really like that. The water bottle I just got for Colin. Um, now, Colin goes through, it's like a gallon of water a day for work because he's in landscaping. It's a lot of physical labor. Um, you know, I don't want him getting dehydrated, especially with it getting hotter out, um, and you dehydrate more quickly. So, instead of him buying water every day, which, you know, it does add up over time, I figured I'd make an investment into both of our sanities, um, and even his health, um, so, and just buy a stainless steel water bottle so he wasn't using the plastic ones every single day. So, I was looking on Amazon, and I found this. So, this is, it's really big. Um, it's a gallon water, stainless steel water bottle. Um, I think I paid, it was between $25 or $30 for it. They had it on sale, and then they took another $5 off of it. Well, I was waiting to order it in my Amazon cart, and then... They gave me, I think it was another 20% off, I think. I think it was another 20% off on it. And he uses it, and he said he really liked it. So, that's always really good. It kept things cold all day in a hot truck. So, that's also a bonus because before, you know, the plastic water bottles, they would heat up and, you know, you'd have hot water, which isn't overly refreshing, especially when you're working in a super hot environment. So picked up this water bottle for him. He really likes it. I will link it down below in case, you know, you guys know anyone who needs a water bottle this size. Um, definitely would get another one eventually, um, just to have two. Because even just for traveling, having the ability to take this much water with you and not a, you know, plastic bottle is really nice. And it's so much more healthier so that all the plastics just don't leach into the water so really happy with this find um i'll link it down below and you guys can go check that out another thing i like to do um and i try to do it every day before or every night actually before i go to bed is make colin some fresh iced tea so in the morning before he goes to work instead of you know getting a coffee making coffee or anything like that he prefers to have iced tea um just straight black iced tea um, because it has a little bit of that caffeine, not quite as much as a cup of coffee. Um, so I make that for him. Uh, so that saves us like a dollar seventy nine to almost three dollars a day by me just making it at home. You can buy tea a whole lot cheaper than that. So I'm gonna make some for him and then I stick it in the refrigerator. He just grabs his lunch bag and his big water bottle and then his iced tea bottle and he's good for the day. So Colin really likes his iced tea strong and one thing that I found and right now we're doing um I have to I did this I bought these a while ago or I got these a while ago and 
I have to do like a cost analysis because I haven't done it in a really long time. Um, but are these really big tea bags? So they're like two or three times the size of a normal tea bag and they're meant for iced tea. Um, so I just make one of those and it's a lot cheaper than going to a store or a convenience store which he would do and buying iced tea. So it's one way I can help him out, I can help us save money and you know he gets something I made in the morning instead of something just a company prepared. So I got Colin's food all packed, everything's ready. Um, kitchen is most likely and as you can see there's still some dish dishes left in the sink. We'll see if I get this done tonight. I am running out of energy, super, super tired after being up most of last night with Caitlin and then really not being able to get a nap today with her. So we'll see, you know, what else I get done. But I'm going to end the video for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing my day in the life and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.